In this video, we will be looking at the Gradebook in Moodle 2.0. As a teacher, you can access the Gradebook for your course by clicking on the Grades link in the Settings block. The Gradebook is now displayed. Notice the drop-down menu at the top. This lets you change what view you are looking at. The default view is Grader Report, which shows all your students listed down the left-hand side and all the gradable activities in the course listed along the top. Individual marks are displayed at the intersection of each row and column. The course total is shown at the very right as a percentage. There are also options for exporting results in a number of different formats. By going to Grader Report under My Preferences, you can choose a range of options to show or hide when you view your grade report. There are a lot of options here, but each one has a question mark icon next to it. By clicking on that question mark, you get a pop-up box that describes what happens when you enable that particular feature. A useful one may be Show Column Averages which gives you an average grade across the whole class for each particular activity. Click Save Changes or Cancel. You can quickly edit grades in the Gradebook by clicking the Turn Editing On button. However, grades and feedback edited from within the Gradebook like this will no longer be able to be edited from the activity end and must from then on be edited only at the Gradebook. Use this grading option carefully. Click Update to save any grades you have put in. To discard any changes, simply turn editing off. Clicking on the space under a student's name, not on the name itself, will highlight that student's row. You can highlight multiple students in this way. To unhighlight, simply click on the space under the name again. Clicking on an activity name will take you to the results just for that activity. For an assignment activity, you can either grade each student by clicking Grade to the right, or by selecting Allow Quick Grading down the bottom and clicking Save Preferences. Once you have allowed quick grading, you will see a grade drop-down menu and a comments box for each participant. Fill them out and click Save All My Feedback down the bottom to save it. You can increase the number of students you see on one page so that you can see all your students at once rather than having them spread across several pages. We can return back to the gradebook by scrolling down until we find our settings block, expanding the course administration menu and returning to grades. 